Alright guys, Hannah here. Welcome to Skin Showcase Revamped. Um, I've taken a lot of opinions out there, uh, a lot of feedback. I've also been talking with uh, a few skinners and uh, finding out some good information from them. So it's allowing me to, one, be able to bring you guys a much better Skin Showcase um, as well as knowing you know how to identify certain things about skins as well because there are finer higher detailed skins out there that I was very unaware of until recently and um, I got got to throw out a big thanks to good karma on that he has you know helped me with some good information about that and so I will definitely with high aims bring you know, plan to bring to you guys a much better and stronger skin showcase based off of this information. Alright now, uh, first up, um, going into the American line and going to start off with the B24. Alright guys, here's a very popular skin, it is the Strawberry Bitch by Spo Gooder. That's a very, very popular skin, but for those that don't know about it, um, I mean, it's just very nice detail. One of the best B24 skins out there, which is why I'm showcasing it. Um, there's a lot of detail that's been done on this, um, and he's been continuously updating it. Um, even very recently, I've, I've noticed him doing some updates with it. And as you can see, he's he's added on all these, you know, parts all over it. It's a historical skin. You know, the the quality of the detailing work is very nice. And it's just, just very nice across the board. I mean, he's added weathering and stuff. He even lightened up, if you look in these engine cows, they used to be pitch black at all times. Now he's, he's actually lightened them up so that you can actually see the engine parts. Um, it's just really well done job all across the board. Even edited the you know weathering and exhaust effects on the skin from the top. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to adjust the heading of the plane real quick. Alright, let's see if we'll show it here. Now, I'm not really sure, but in his detailed pictures of things that he's edited, supposedly somehow edited the arms of the gunners back here in this window because they were un... you know, like you couldn't see them, they were missing. And I'm not exactly sure how that goes about, but he lightened that up as well. You know, showing off its, uh, you know, the details on that. Okay, I'm going to also drop the landing gear real quick. typical um, of the default gear on the B-24 so there's not a whole lot of difference there uh, so that's one area where the skin I'm raising them landing gear real quick that's one thing that hasn't changed a whole lot and one other detail is that whenever this plane takes any damage um, it leaves black marks for the holes it's not see-through but, you know, 
like I said, he's been updating it constantly all the time, so I only expect it'll be a matter of time before he works on those two items. Alright, time to move on to the next plane. Alright guys, now that we have covered the B-24, now I'm going to move to a non-historical um, scan that is still really quite details. I'm going to move on to the Corsair. And here we go. Alright guys, this non-historical scan is a animation, or based off of an animation series called the uh, Skycrawlers. And it is a animation that's about uh, aerial combat in a sense. Now they have don't exactly fly, um, you know, aircraft that we are common to, but they do fly, you know, kind of prop-based aircraft. Now the skin's based off of these one of the teachers' skins, and it's by T.W. Lightsaber. Now. This is another skin that was brought to you, built from the ground up. There's good coloring throughout the skin. Um, as you can see, these uh, other Corsairs that are behind us have a, a definitely different layout. That is their standard layout for this. Alright, he did a lot of detail into the nose area. Um, he's added, you know, oils from the machine guns and, and exhaust from the machine guns trailing across on the aircraft. Just a very high quality scanning, especially for something that's a little bit unconventional out there. change heading real quick. Speeds. Dropping landing gear. And as you can see, the aircraft's number are displayed on the landing gear hubs. Going to the other side real quick. And the uh, machinery that helps lower the landing gear is still the same color though. Not very much, not, not any changes there. Alright, gonna raise the landing gear and the flaps. Alright. Once again, this is the Skin Crawler's Teacher's Flight Skin by TW Lightsaber. Alright, hope you guys enjoy. Moving on to the next craft. Alright guys, now it's time to move on to the Germans. And for my first historical German skin I'm gonna bring to you, it's gonna be the BF-109F4. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, this F4 scan is brought to you by Bruziel. As usual, all details will be listed in the description below. Alright, this is the Black 4. And this is actually the, the skin um, that's based on Carl Schultz. Uh, Ace is a skin that right here. You can see all these details now. He has four variants of this. He has um, the ones with the swastikas, two of them. Um, I didn't use those because I know that there are a lot of um, countries that are not allowed to you know, have them, to view them, and so I left those out. And he also has uh, the one variant is the darker skin like this. The second variant is of a lighter skin. Still has got the same skin and pattern on it. I prefer the darker skin though. It's uh, to me it just looks better. But you know, so it's based on some really, really good historical information. 
you know, to do with building a skin here. And definitely a lot of effort involved in it. You see the ribbing for the uh, aircraft on the wings really well and across uh, the planes textures very well. Um, now, I don't know if that's the exact same ribbing that's actually on, you know, used by War Thunder on the plane, but even so, the the detail into the drawing of the wing patterns and the, the fuselage patterns definitely is extreme and very hard to pull off. I know that's a very difficult task to do, but he, he definitely pulled it off with the skin. Okay, I'm gonna slow this plane down real quick. And drop the landing gear out. Alright, dropping it. Nothing too fancy about the landing gear at this time. There's not a whole lot of exhaust weathering, gun weathering, anything of that like um, done. It's just clearly, um, you know, based off of somebody or based off the skin. And um, I don't know if there's any updates that will be coming from his work, but he's definitely done a good job so far. So hopefully, you know. Um, there will be an update to the exhaust weathering as well as um, uh, residues from the from the guns in, in the future. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the skin by Bristol. Bristol. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering your name there, bud. All right. Uh, details are in the description below as stated before. All right. Enjoy, guys. Alright, now that I've brought to you guys a historical skin of the Germans, we're going to bring a non-historical skin of the Germans. The Lufthansa by Edelweiss. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, here it is. Very nice design. Very good detail across the board. There's weathering on the wings there, coming from the wing root forward and toward the wingtip. Doesn't fully make it there, but this is very nice detailing across. If you can't see that, let me zoom in. Alright, zoom it back out. And obviously, uh, Edelweiss has her logo back here, ggl. or slash Edel, to mark her creation. I did know that the bottom. Notice that the bottom of the wings here still have the uh, Iron Cross insignias on it and the A's. Um, I don't think she intended for that, but I could be mistaken because. <coughs> That shows that this is kind of a pain over skin, but it's one of the best non-historical skins out there for the Russians. There are very few in, in between. Good weathering on the tail. I can see that right there. A big old tail fin to it. Good weathering across the board there. <laughs> All right. No more. No more. Uh, Rudder wiggle. This side has weathering effects all the way down, almost all the way to the wingtip completely on this side. But this definitely can make your, your trip in the Arado much more entertaining and when you go and you drop your bombs you feel like you're giving off some kind of special delivery <laughs> alright 
Keep up the good work, guys. <clears throat> Catch you on the next skin. Alright guys, that concludes the German Air Force. Now we're going to move on to the Russian Air Force. Alright. Alright, first up for the Russians is a historical skin. The IL-2M is three color tone by Fenris. Alright, here we go. Alright, this three color IL-2M is definitely different than the default colors. Default colors have more of a rustic brown, a green, and a lighter green kind of tone. This one has grays, a dark gray, a light gray, and then a green. Um, very interesting design. And he did really good with uh, a lot of the effects. Like the corner of that wing rig right there has very um, broken up painting effects on that. has a sky blue underbelly, which is very, uh, very common in the Russian aircrafts. There's some wear on these rivet heads. Let me compare that to the other side real quick. Yeah, they're there on this side too. You didn't notice them as much. For some reason, this side they catch the light really good. Really show off in the tail and the rudder, as well as along the fuselage there. There's some, a couple streaks of them. It's very interesting. I haven't really seen that done. So I really gotta say, I really think that he did that. You know, it's hard hard to be sure without his confirmation. Um, but yeah, that means he caused each one of those rivet heads to to be worn down and to be reflective. Yeah, definitely very interesting. Very good work. Now whenever you guys play some mixed battles, you can wear this very awesome skin. It's got a lot of detail into it. Clearly see that. And this way you can drop your bombs on some tanks and fire your rockets off on some tanks. And, just, and look good while you're doing it. <laughs> Alright. Check this out real quick. I'll slow down. Drop out the landing gear. I'm gonna turn the plane also. Get some better lighting. Okay, yes. Okay. Good details on there on that see some weathering effects. The structure of the of the wheel frame still looks the same. I don't know if it's easy to edit that or not. I have seen some edit that, but for the most part it's normally left alone. But it looks really good all the same to me. A very nice skin. Very nice skin printers. Keep up the good work. Alright, let's move on to the next skin. Alright guys, and now we're going to move on to a fictional or non-historical skin, I should say, for the Russian lines. It's uh, based off of Crimson Skies, the Fortune Hunter, and it's the Yak-9T done by Dragon Nation. Alright guys, here we go. Alright, here is that Fortune Hunter skin. It's on the Yak 9T, as I already stated. It's a very nice skin, very, very uh, different looking. Um, as you can see, the icons here 
try to zoom in. They're on the wings there of tarot cards. And I believe that's the same icons that was used in Crimson Sky. It's been a while since I've played that, so I can't... I'm, I'm not really 100%. Got a skull and crossbone on the tail. Pretty nice work. And he doesn't leave any weathering effects. It's pretty much all brand brand new effects that are going on here. I'll try to pull it up and into the light a bit. So very nice effects. There's some weathering on the bottom and stuff, but I think that's just natural on the paint scheme. But uh, it's definitely an interesting skin. Something I could definitely get into doing in an arcade mode. You know, trying to make it feel a little bit more arcade-ish. Alright, dropping the landing gear. And the flaps. Detail's pretty good. Got weathering on the flaps a bit. back up. That's a pretty nice effect across the board there. It's simple. It's it's interesting. It's nice. Um, it's a pretty good skin. I think it'll definitely come in handy for those Crimson Sky fans that are out there. Um, I, I know that I run into them here and there all the time actually. And uh, now you can feel like you're part of Crimson Skies once again, especially in that arcade mode. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you all enjoyed. Alright guys, that is the skin showcase revamped. I hope you guys enjoyed. I still have more. I have British and Japs and everything, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I'll be throwing that out there sometime later. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the revamped version of this so far. Let me know what you think. Um, feedback is very useful, very crucial to making this episode, uh, these episodes much better. And um, I, I appreciate the feedback and everything that I've gotten thus far. Um, anyways, I, I, like, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys later. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And... Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys out there. Alright, later guys.